Hi folks, this is Al with BombBills.com here with another instructional video for the BDT, the bolt together drift trike you put together yourself. This video is just one in a series of videos that's intended to be used in combination with the drift trike build plans available through BombBills.com and on eBay from username Auto Beverage. Beware of imitations, buy only from the inventor. That's me. This particular video is going to cover drawing 303, which is the rear wheel assembly. So let's get started. And here's our clean work area for drawing 303, the rear wheeled assembly. We have our drawing, our tools, and the components necessary for this assembly all laid out. And here's drawing 303. Uh, as usual, it has a bill of material in the lower right hand corner. It has various views, in this case including a, an exploded view, and the assembly notes in the upper left hand corner. Our tools for this assembly include dish soap. In this case I'm just using Dawn Tough on Grease Easy on Hands. Dawn takes grease out of your way. And I just mixed that with some water and a spray bottle here and this will be very helpful to help the rubber tire slip down over the rim and then help the PVC slip over the tire. I have two quick clamps here which we're going to use to squeeze that tire down to help get it started. I have a screwdriver. This is a straight screwdriver and notice that I've taped up the end of it very well. Uh, that's because we're going to use this as a tire iron and I don't want to scratch up my paint. Uh, if you have tire irons they would be very useful. I don't have any. Uh, I got a hammer to help persuade the PVC and then of course we'll need an air compressor to pump it up. So off camera we went ahead and assembled, assembled one of the two rear wheel assemblies. Um, there's the second one there, which I'll do for you on camera. So just a couple things to point out here. Uh, obviously make sure there's a tire stem in there. Your wheels should come with some sort of a tire stem. Uh, mine, I replaced the rubber ones with nice chrome ones, but the, the rubber ones are nice too. You could leave them in there if you'd like. Again, I painted mine. I powder coated my rim to match the theme that I'm after, but again, it'll come at a polished aluminum and they're actually pretty nice so you can just leave them alone if you'd like whatever you prefer on the opposite side I painted mine black uh, because I'm gonna have a blackout axle theme now with the tires that you get uh, most likely it'll have a brand marking only on one side uh, the other side will not have a brand marking so if you prefer that the brand marking is on the outside where you can see it then of course make sure that when you go ahead and put this tire over the rim that you put it in the right direction okay let's get started doing the other assembly to get started we're gonna set our rim um, right side up or facing side up uh, on a uh, notice how I have a blanket here because I don't want to scrape up the paint or the finish on the underside or either side for that matter of my rim uh, now I have my tire and remember depending on what face you want to have out you need to have that ready. I want the brand to face out so I'm going to have this on top with the face on top. So we're going to start out by just spraying the tire right around the rim area, right around the bead area. And you know, Don't be afraid to use a lot of this, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to wipe right off. Put it on both surfaces and then on your tire as well or on your rim of course. Now your rim is going to get dirty but it'll wash right up. Um, I'm doing both surfaces here and we'll, we'll be putting this on more than once. So we're going to start out by just slipping this tire, the bottom bead, over top. Use your screwdriver where you have to to get it started. There you go. And that's actually the easy part. So we're down over the rear bead. We have the rear bead down over the rim. So that's what it looks like on this side. It's captured in there. See that? So now, now <clears throat> the difficult part is to get this second bead down over. 
and that's not always easy. Now you can try to do this by hand, and some people do have success at it, but the trick is to get one place started and then work your way around, which again can be very difficult. And your hands will get slippery from time to time. You have a good rag to wipe it off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my speed clamp here and I'm, I'm going to compress this tire in one spot. Now I have my clamp off the bead surface here so I can slip it under the bead. And I'm just going to smash this thing down best I can in one spot. Now I'm going to take my second clamp and I'm going to try to hold this section of the bead underneath the rim. It's not easy. Sometimes it takes more than one try, but you want to get this bead underneath that rim if you can like that. So see it's trapped under that rim. Now again, may not be successful on the first try, but we have to work this bead down under the rim all the way around. So I'm going to start out by taking some bites. Now this can be a pain with the clamps in place. See that? I took a little bite there. Now I'm going to try to hold this and take more bites. It gets more and more difficult as you go. Have some patience, have some help. In fact, two screwdrivers would be better than one. I'm going to try to get away with one. And again, if you have tire irons, even better. So I'm going to keep working that around, just like that. I'm going to try releasing this clamp, see if that helps. Almost there. Yeah, cost us some tape, <laughs> but uh, here we are. So we have the bead down over the rim on both sides. Bit of a struggle, have some patience. Um, the next step, before we inflate this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our PVC sleeve on it, okay? Now to do this, we're going to just go ahead and lube this up very generously. You know, once this soap dries, it'll it's not going to slip, I assure you. Um, soap up your PVC rim very well too. And another important note is you're going to want to make sure that this is burr free, this leading edge. Um, if you buy these from bombbills.com, I will have them reasonably deburred. But sandpaper, uh, utility knife, anything, get that sharp edge off there because we don't want it digging into our tire. Okay, so just get this started right over the center, evenly, best that you can, and then start tapping it down. There you go. Once it starts, like that, it'll start to move a lot easier. But you just want to tap this down evenly until it's centered left and right on the wheel through the depth. I'm not quite there, so I'm going to work it around a little bit. If you get it uh, out of whack, cattywampus, or whatever term you want to use, you can always just tap it back the other way. A little more here. less here. A 
Okay. This looks pretty good. So now what you're going to see is you're going to see that this PVC has helped push this tire in and push the bead against the rim. So now when we go to put air in this, it will actually make an initial seal and it should pop. Now you should listen for the pop. So before, before you go ahead and pump it up, just give it one last lube right around the rim. Now, some say it's helpful to remove the valve gut. Um, I think it is, the valve stem. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I think we're going to be able to plow right through it. So this should just pop into place. There it goes. Now, you want to make sure that it's popped out everywhere. We are not quite popped out here. So we want to keep going. But in order to not overinflate the tire, I'm going to let some out of it. I don't want this thing blowing up in my face. Now when I let air out of this, it's not going to unseat the bead. The beads that are seated will stay seated. So now I'm going to hit it again in hopes that I can get this last little piece to pop out. Okay, so that's it. It's a bit of a wrestling match, but once you're done, you're done. You can uh, release some of this air and then properly inflate it. And here's a final look at drawing 303, fully assembled, rear wheel assemblies, quantity of two. Um, as your PVC sleeves wear out, you can purchase new ones from bombbills.com or go to eBay, username Auto Beverage. There's other places on the internet where you can purchase them as well. Uh, so that's it. Good job. We'll see you on the next instructional video.